Hi guys, in this video, we are going to discuss the differences between salient pole and smooth cylindrical or non-salient pole synchronous rotors. You know already very well, this is a salient pole structure. See, these are the, the poles which are projecting outside like this. And this is a smooth cylindrical structure or there is no any saliency because there is no any salient poles here. Right? So, so coming to here, what are the differences between them? First of all, the salient pole nothing but the poles are projecting outside. What is that? The poles are projecting outside. That's why these are called the projected poles or salient poles. See here. Here poles are projecting outside. Poles are projecting outside. But here there is no any projections. There is no any projections. Simply the smooth cylindrical type is there. But here out of 360 degrees, out of 360 degrees, out of 360 degrees, how much? 120 degrees of rotor periphery, 120 degrees of rotor periphery used for poles formation. Okay, and remaining 240 degrees used for slots or simply is called winding, just for winding. This is about the main differences, constructional view differences between salient pole and cylindrical pole. Here, the poles are projecting outside, but here out of total rotor periphery, the 120 degrees for poles formation, 120 degrees nothing but, for example, out of 360, here, 30 degrees of rotor periphery, 30 degrees of rotor periphery, 30 degrees of rotor periphery, and 30 degrees of rotor periphery. 120 degrees for false formation. And remaining 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and here also 60 degrees, completely 240 degrees for slots or winding. This is a, what about the cylindrical and salient pole? And coming to here, Another differences between these two. See here, see carefully, when we are observing these two salient pole and non-salient pole, pole structures, here the minimum number of poles, of course I drawn the four number of poles, but practically the minimum number of poles in this one is the six poles. And the maximum number of poles we can use here around 120. Nothing but simply the number of poles used in salient pole type 6 to 120. But practically what we are using in the range of 10 to 20 poles in that range. But here in cylindrical structure, the minimum number of poles used 2 and the maximum number of poles used 4. We can use either 2 or 4 number of poles, but here minimum 6, maximum 120, but practically we are using 10 to 20 number of poles. For example, for 50 head supply, what is the speed of the rotor with this many of poles? For 120 poles, the speed is 50 rpm. For 6 poles, the speed is 1000 rpm. So the speed range of salient pole is 50 to 1000 rpm. But practically what we are using in the range of 300 to 600 rpm. Because for 20 poles 300, for 10 poles 600. When coming to here, here the synchronous speed range or simply the speed range around 1500 to 3000 RPM for 50 hedge supply. In terms of 50 hedge supply. So simply here more number of poles, less speed, less number of poles, more rotor speed. Other than that, comparatively, the diameter of the salient pole machines much greater than the axial length. 
generally in this machine the diameter is much greater than the axial length when coming to here the axial length of the machine much greater than the rotor diameter much greater than the rotor diameter or simply more diameter less axial length less diameter more axial length actually it looks like this for example this is the length but here the the length of the rotor axis is much greater so here more diameter less axial length the diameter is equals to around 5 to 7 times of the axial length diameter is equals to 5 to 7 times of the axial length when coming to here the axial length is equals to 5 to 7 times of the diameter axial length is equals to 5 to 7 times of the axial length in that case but here diameter is equals to 5 to 7 times of the axial length after this after this when the diameter is more ultimately the speed of the machine reduces when the diameter is less ultimately the speed of the machine increases so simply here here what about the salient pole what about the salient pole what we can conclude less or more tell me sir how many number of poles more number of poles more number of poles more diameter more diameter less axial length and uh, less speed when coming to here what you can say less number of poles and uh, less number of poles and uh, less diameter more axial length more axial length and uh, less speed or more speed sir more speed more speed this is the differences between these two and uh, the power output generally directly proportional to d square into l the power output is equals to d square into l nothing but in order to get the more power factor we need to maintain better diameter in salient pole but in order to get a better power better power output we need to maintain better axial length here the diameter should be less that's why we need to maintain better axial length so this is the the main differences and then after what is the remaining differences simply this is used for low speed applications low speed applications nothing but can you tell me the example for that the salient pole generators are used in hydroelectric power plant the hydroelectric power plant whatever the turbines whatever the generator we have low speed applications the hydroelectric power plant generator speed in the range of 300 to 600 rpm when coming to here here what we can say high speed applications we know that can you tell me the example for this we can use in thermal and nuclear power plant thermal and nuclear power plant what we are using the cylindrical type or non salient pole type generally the the salient pole alternators also called hydro alternators hydro alternators generally the cylindrical pole alternators are also called turbo alternators turbo alternators yes or no guys so these are the the main differences between these two still we have a, some more differences based on the q axis and d axis okay let's see the differences <laughs>